Today we are crossing the worst rated border in Southeast Asia and traveling from Laos to Cambodia. We will also show you our first impressions of this new country. So unfortunately today we are leaving Laos. But we are heading to Siem Reap, Cambodia today, which is really, really exciting. So we're gonna be crossing the border. We're currently in Dong Dat, which is like a really chilled, it's also called 4,000 Islands because we're basically in the middle of the Mekong on an <laughs> island, just chilling out. We only stay one night, but it's so peaceful and I would recommend staying a bit longer. We need to go because we need to get a ferry and then a minibus and cross the border into Cambodia. Let's go. We better go. Get your bags. Ready? Yep. You check the room? Hmm, don't know. Hopefully we did. So our ferry leaves at nine and it's like 8.52, so we need to be a little bit quick. And then we've got to take a minibus and a bus then across the border. Just waiting for the boat to arrive. As we're still in now, obviously, it's probably going to be late. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got the ticket? Have you got the ticket? Have you got the ticket? Oh no. I left the ticket. I left the ticket in the room. But I've now got it. I'm running because we're going to miss the boat. Why? Gonna miss it. I don't know how I left it. It's the only thing we needed. We were just chilling out. We found it. <laughs> Joel found it, which is good because I was getting worried. <laughs> Does that take us to see Pop chain. We are on a floating raft going to the mainland now. This is crazy. Right, I think we've got to head now to get the minibus or a bus to the Cambodian border. And then this is not supposed to be the easiest border to cross. So let's see how this goes. Is it not? No, it's supposed to be like, it's not rated very highly. And yeah, it's not like the easiest because they try and get more money out of you, but we'll see for ourselves. So we are just waiting around basically, like you do in Laos a lot of the time for our bus to the border and then see Reap. But I don't know how long we've got to wait. They just say, I don't know. You got the ticket? The new ticket, which is exactly the same as the old ticket. <laughs> this ticket gets us all the way to Siem Reap, but it's just a piece of paper, like everywhere in Asia. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? We're at the border now, and we're just waiting to get out of Laos. I think we've got to give them a bit of paper or something. So just waiting in the queue. So guys, we have just checked out of Laos. Um, and they charge, so this border is known for being a bit dodgy. They charge you $2 for a stamp each, which in is like passport, which in your passport. When you enter the country, you don't have to pay for that. I've never had to pay for it for any other country until last time I was at this specific border, like five years ago. So that just shows, you know, it is $2. It doesn't really matter. But they're just, they're it's just to make money. It's, I think it's just to make money, you know, a bit of pocket money. So they're like, why not? Because I asked him why, and he was like, for the stamp. I was like, okay. It's not like you can say no either, because you yeah, have to do what so. There's no option, but I mean, it is $2. So we are now walking maybe five, 10 minutes to the Cambodian side, where I think we're gonna buy the, uh, the visa for like 30 USD. Also, if you are coming to Laos and you get this exit little departure ticket thing, I'll try and find a photo of it, then you need to make sure you keep it for when you leave Laos. Otherwise, you're gonna have to spend a lot more money, like probably in that extra five USD to get it. And it just makes the process a lot longer. So make sure you fill it out before you get to the border. So yeah, make sure you do that, guys. I think right now we're actually in no man's land because this isn't Laos, but it's not Cambodia. Cause, so we're just in the middle of no country. Is that ice? That is ice. That's nice and fresh. Whoa. Why is there randomly ice in no man's oh, land? There's more here. Oh, it stinks. It's fishy ice, I think. I shouldn't have touched it with my in. foot in it. Oh no. There's the sign. We are in Cambodia. Welcome to Cambodia. I think once, um, once we go under there, we're in Cambodia. Yeah, under this really? little... I don't know. This is your first time in the country, isn't it? Yeah. How, how's your first impressions of this border? It actually feels hotter since we were just in Laos. Now I feel a bit warmer. Oh. Hot so is... I think, yeah, Cambodia's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, then yes, I was in Cambodia like five years ago. So this is my second time here. I'm excited. Oh, little limbo. Let's go get our visa for Cambodia. I think that was just a, like a little health checkup, but I think we've got to fill in the forms, get the visa now. You can actually get an e-visa here, but um, we're just going to do it in on arrival because it's probably easier but we'll see it might not be <laughs> oh yeah. yeah so we are in cambodia yeah. how was it feeling 
It feels good. It feels, feels good. Hot. It feels... It feels hot, doesn't it? Okay, <laughs> let's talk about this visa because I thought it was 30 US dollars, but apparently they charged us 38 US dollars each. So, something about a stamping fee and I don't know. I don't know if they charged us an extra $8, but at the end of the day, it's only $8. It doesn't matter. It's just a bit of like, oh, we're arriving in the country and they're just taking more money, but oh well. <laughs> So inside we couldn't film, but basically like the ladies were just like filming, like scrolling on TikTok, like they didn't really care. Like they were like stamping on passports and just like scrolling. I was like, yeah. eh. But I mean, it's not the most fun job, so don't blame them if they can. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, so in Cambodia, they mostly use just US dollars, but then you can give them US dollars and you get Cambodian real, their own currency back. So it's kind of like a little bit confusing, but that's basically what happens. Um, yeah so if you're coming to cambodia bring us dollars or yeah just get them from the atm when you get here so we've got some more waiting to do we're gonna wait here i don't know for how long maybe an hour i think till everyone comes through from who was doing the border because we were at the start of the queue which was quite lucky because there was only like one or two people working um but we've ordered some food it cost like four dollars eighty cents and then because i paid with a five usd we got two a thousand cambodian reel back so 20 cent back, which is crazy. And yeah, I just remember it last time just being so weird because you give them one currency and you get another one back. So yeah, we ordered some fried rice and some water. So let's dig in to our first Cambodian reel. Cambodian meal, not real. <laughs> We've got like a six hour drive now to see him read in this van with lots of bags. Zero. It's a heavy one, that one, isn't it? So we just got to see him. We're here in Cambodia, but we're getting a free ride to our hostel, which is pretty cool. I yeah. think it's included, but I'm well, not sure. We didn't know it was included, so we've just got this little tuk tuk, and the guys seem really nice, but they're going to give us a ride to our hostel. He's running over. Here we go. So about that tuk-tuk driver, basically they take you to the hostel or wherever you're staying for free and then it's like a little agreement, they drop you off with them and then they want you to basically take you around Angkor Wat for the day. So we have agreed that we're going to be doing the Angkor Wat tour in a couple of days time and it was costing us 25 US dollars so we agreed for that and then we got the free like transport to our hostel. So yeah that's the kind of thing with that. Overall of that actual transport it was pretty decent, like obviously there's a few scams and well, not even scams they just they just want money um, at the border and stuff but to be fair it was quite quick and relatively easy so yeah I do recommend doing this route but now we are gonna head out to get some food in Cambodia yes because we are starving we haven't eaten since well we ate at lunchtime but I'm just hungry yeah <laughs> it's been a long journey it's been a long day let's go out and explore Cambodia so we have just left the hostel honestly these streets look immaculate it's so clean and everything looks really posh. It? And so different to Lao. Every Lao street in Lao is pretty much a dusty street. Whereas here, it's like, look at it. It looks amazing. Honestly, everything seems so busy, like there's stuff going on. Right, I don't really know where we're going, but we're just gonna walk and try and find some food. I can't believe how amazing and modern and just clean the streets are. Like, compared to a lot of Asian cities, this is just incredible. It's so like spread out and well built. Yeah, like big walkways to walk. It's just so different to Laos as well. That's probably why I'm like so amazed by it right now. We are definitely in a more commercialized area of town. There's Indians, Greek restaurants, Mexican restaurants all over the place. I haven't seen many Cambodian restaurants. No. We've just seen some street food across the road. So we might go have a little look, see what they've got over here. Oh. Which one's good? Which one the best noodle? She said the one I had. Yeah? Okay, two. <laughs> two. Yeah. My hand is almost the size of this chair. How small are these chairs? And it feels like they're like preschool chairs, like for five year olds in a classroom. <laughs> yeah. Excited. First, well, I feel like this is our first proper meal in Cambodia, yeah, do you know what I mean? Our, no, it is. I know, we ate at lunch just when we passed the border. Oh, okay, yeah. It's been oh. a while. <laughs> and the food's gone. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> Wasn't it? I actually loved that. First proper meal in Cambodia was very good, actually. Guys, look at this bridge. It's like we're in a fairy tale. Wow, it's got a little river going down here. It's nice. 
Yeah. We've just arrived at Pub Street. Look at that. This whole street is just crazy, like Khao San Road, but here in Cambodia. But it, it feels a bit more like there's just loads of restaurants and everyone's so like many restaurants. On the streets. And beer is only a dollar here at like a nice restaurant, which is so good. It's just three dollar only, but you can stay as long as you want. We were just walking down the street and then in the distance we see the 7-Eleven. A 7-Eleven? We didn't know they had them here. Joel said they didn't have them. I've been here before and I swear they didn't have them, but I'm currently looking at one. So we're going to go in and check it out. It's probably not going to be like Thailand, but you never know. Let's yeah. go have a look. So inside that 7-Eleven, it was literally like it was in Thailand. It had all like the meals, it had like the iced coffee. Um, it was just so busy in there because I think like every Western tourist was like, I need to go there. Maybe um, there's only one in the in Siem Reap or something. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's more. We'll have to find out. But we're going to head back to the hotel now because it's, we're quite sleepy. I mean, yeah. we've had a busy old day. I hope you found this video useful. If you are coming from Laos to Cambodia, use this as a guide with all the, like, the weird border crossings and everything because it can be really confusing to know what's going to happen in advance. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please hit subscribe because it helps us to keep traveling. Please. And we'll, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.